Hey, very fresh. It is the 19th of May, 2018, and there is a whole lot going on in this world, both spiritually and physically. And, man, whew, I just sit down and go through these articles, and it's crazy. And then I went to some scripture that ties right into everything, so... I'm just going to kind of ramble at you, I guess, because there's a lot, and I haven't really written anything down or anything. So, you know, we're looking at the news. Um, we could start with this shooting. Uh, ten dead and ten injured in this Santa Fe High shooting by a 17-year-old kid. Okay? Very, very uh, interesting, you know, spiritual uh, connections to this here. There truly are. You see God working, you see uh, Satan working, you got this plane crash where I believe that was more or less a satanic ritual. I hate to say it, but it's all a spirit-led thing, folks. It doesn't necessarily mean that there's like a gang of conspirators like loosening the uh, bolts on the propeller or anything. It's something like quite the opposite, that a mechanic neglects to tighten the bolt because he's involved in something that's not very godlike. In other words, he's absorbed in the world, he's too busy, doesn't get paid enough to make sure that the plane's operating properly. That's just an illustration of how the spiritual realm dominates the flesh because we only pay attention to the flesh. Sorry about the peeping, I got a new batch of baby chicks in and uh, that's where they gotta be right now, so I hope they don't squeak too much but that's how this all this stuff works but i also see you know god's perfect numbers you know these this is a double whammy of one of the perfect numbers 10 10 and then we see the 110 aboard this plane now in the news we see that and it's horrible 10 people dead 10 injured but when you're in the spirit of god you see that as yes it's a horrible thing but this is the world. This is what we've got. This is the world. It's dark and it's cruel. If you're not in the spirit of Christ, then you don't even understand that you're under the influence of the flesh. Satan. Sin. Bad. Okay? It's a spiritual war. That's what I say all the time. Because it is. But we're seeing it manifest into the natural world. Okay? So these are the couple connections I see with this, you know? The 113, I always like to show the 113 in the Greek. 113, athesmos, in the sense of enacting, lawless, criminal, wicked. Okay, that's 113. 311, on the other hand, is a whole different ball game. See what you can do with the numbers? I mean, this is how it kind of works with me. I also see a 1010 10 here. As well as a 7-7 seven, seven, and a 17. The 7-7 seven, seven comes into play because of this article I saw yesterday. It had to do with the Invictus games. You remember that? This article came out yesterday. And it was the Invictus chairman, you know, ca congratulating Harry and all these, you know, the, the wedding and whatnot. CBS put this out yesterday. And when I saw it, it reminded me of Invictus. And Invictus was from the 23rd to the 30th of September last year started right on the great sign of Revelation 12 the same day Invictus I am you see how this huge satanic ritual is being you know kicked off right on one of God's you know perfect signs I mean this is how the spirit works Oh, remember the dog, the bomb-sniffing dog, Vimy? Yeah, he's a, he sniffs out explosives, right? Under the, th under the three arches, in front of the twin system, the building, the government. I mean, think about it, it's everywhere. But anyway, that's what it reminded me of, and it started on the 23rd. So, as soon as I saw that, I'm like, oh, wow. I'm going to go back to the 23rd and see how long that was. From the wedding back to then. And it's 238 days. 34 weeks. Didn't really think much of it. I mean, it's a 13. 
That's that rebellion always poking its head out somewhere. But there was more to it, and I knew it. And what it was, was I remembered how close and tight that Harry and Obama were throughout this whole thing. Obama visited there, did interviews with Harry, the whole nine yards. This was a big deal. It was very ritualistic, okay? And what's the strangest thing of all, and I mean, think about this. It's 238 days, and I see the uh, a 777, and that's where the scripture came in. Because I saw this little piece of information here, and it was bothering me, but I went away from it. And I called up a random Bible verse, and it gave me Jeremiah 16:16. 16, 16. Behold, I will send many fishers, and they will fish them, and the hunters, and they will hunt them. He's actually talking about the bad guys. you got to read Jeremiah 16. In fact, read it all the way through to, I read it all the way through to 19. And that's where I stopped when they started talking about it. It's, all it is, is is God telling them through Jeremiah, like, you are just forsaken me, and I'm not happy about it. I'm going to bring you know, curses and wicked things on you if you don't turn your act around. He just keeps talking about it over and over and over. It's like they're, they've done it again. You know what I mean? They've burnt incense unto other gods. You remember the incense? I keep showing these, but I have to. First time, 2,000 years in December. Remember that? How could we forget? You know? But there's the, the 238 days is what I was seeing here. And if we take Obama into the situation after seeing the Bible verse, 1616, which when I see this, uh, it's the way I see it is seven, seven, seven. That's just how it comes into my mind. I, I can't explain it. It's just the way it is. And it causes me to go from today, from this wedding, to back 777 days. So that's what I do. And it brings me to April the 2nd, 2016. You can go to the first if you click the little thing or anything, but 777 days. And sure enough, I mean, this is just the way it is. It's crazy. But on that day, Barack Obama was meeting in a nuclear summit talking about Iran and Mad Men, this is all about Iran, going back to 2016, April the 1st, okay? He was talking about the materials getting into the wrong hands of Mad Men. And you got to read this because what you see is them talking about the material for the nuclear weapons. It's all throughout here, the materials. We can't let them get their hands on this material. It's too dangerous. It could, you know, it's just strewn out through the whole article. Okay? So, the material he's talking about, when they're talking about the nuclear summit and madmen getting the nuclear materials, is uranium-238. Remember uranium-1? Hillary Clinton? Yeah! Like their little logo, 666, there you go. That's what he's talking about. 238 days from the wedding. Invictus. I am. Nuclear summit. Obama. 777 days. Jeremiah 1616 is what brought that to me. Now, what does it mean? I don't know, but because it came in the way that it came, I know it means something. You understand what I mean? I just can't tell you exactly, because I, I just don't know, but boy, it sure does point to this day. And if you do, just a tiny bit more looking into this, uranium-238, you'll come to find that it's a material, just like Obama was talking about, that's necessary in order to produce a certain kind of high-yield nuclear weapon. And the way that they figured this out back in the day was testing them. And one of the biggest operations for testing nukes they did was called the Castle Operation. Operation Castle. And I can't help but think, you know, what's the whole world looking at today? They're looking at this wedding 
with these royal bloods, these blue bloods, in this big old castle. Right? Windsor Castle. That's where they're at. That's where the wedding is. St. George, Windsor Castle. The Operation Castle for nuclear weapon testing in the early days. And this particular nuclear weapon is called Castle Bravo. And you might think Bravo means like hooray or like brave. But the first definition I got from Merriam-Webster is a villain and a desperado, especially a hired assassin. You know what I mean? So the material, Uranium-238, I hope this is even making a lick of sense to anybody, but this is just the stuff I see. I mean, right down to the St. George Chapel. I mean, it's so bizarre. And believe it or not, this all goes straight back to Israel, to Jerusalem, to be more specific. you got to read this Jeremiah, at least 16 through 19. It's just crazy, but you got to read it. All right? So it all does circle back around to Israel. This, this chapel and this castle were built exactly 600 years before Israel became a state 70 years ago, okay? So is it 670 years ago, exactly, 6, 7, 13. The rebellion, these are all just Satan's little monuments, his little pushpins in the Google map of Earth. Satan's little, his little, you know, vain shows, that's what they are. So, Windsor Castle, Operation Castle, 777 days, Nuclear Madmen Summit. The day he's talking about the Iran uh, nuclear deal. Go look it up. It's crazy. It is. It's crazy. But then it all doubles back to this, all this garbage. All to this history. Nothing new, people. There's nothing new under the sun. This is the same royal blood that has just been at the top, the masters of this world, to the people who are of this world, who live for the flesh. You have to understand the spiritual war that you're engaged in. It's, it, it's just critical that you understand that. Look at this. The queen's beasts on the roof of the chapel. Okay? The big chapel where they're, uh, where Harry and Merkel got married there. Check this out. This is really cool. There's the chapel. There's are all the beasts all along, all the outside of the chapel. The queen's beasts. Can you believe that stuff? Yeah, St. George, the, the patron saint of England, right? He, he came from Palestine, okay? And their main shrine is in Israel. This all circles around to Israel. Everything does. Okay, we can look into all the craziness of this stuff. The Order of the Garter, straight out of St. George, okay? Founded again, 1348, 600 years ago. Very tight-knit little secret society of the lawless lawmakers, the rulers, the deceivers. Look at that, right? What do you think uh, little old Prince Harry and his new bride left the castle with here? Let's see. Oh, look at these people. That's just sad right there, man. Yeah, there's Harry right there with his... What is that? Wait a second. Wait a second. I gotta find it again. There it is. Right there, the Order of the Garter. Yep, that's it. You know, it's the same old, same old. It's the spirit of Satan that drives these people, and they deceive the world over and over and over again that they're going to be able to bring in peace and security if we just go kill these people and we, you know, suppress those people. It's a lie, people. Don't listen to men. There's no man that's ever going to bring that peace and security and fill the pit in your belly. That's a God-shaped pit. That's what'll fill it. You need Christ Jesus to understand the time you're in and to know that you need a Savior. And He's it. As the darkness closes in on this world, you're going to come to understand that. And you'll look at this stuff for what it is. A giant play. Just a big scam. And they just take everybody. Just snare you right up. 
march you right into the pit. That's all it is. I hate to say it, but that's all it is. Look at this. That's just absolutely sad. And that was me 20 years ago, you know, at some crazy concert or something, you know what I mean? But there you go. The world is just blind to what's all around them. And if you don't start to see that you're in this spiritual war, you don't see it enclosing around you and realize no man, not yourself or any other, can pull you from that. And that this flesh in this life is temporal. You die. There is death attached to this world, to this flesh. You need to seek Jesus. Save your eternal soul. Okay? So, I, I had to share that with y'all. Wow, 15 minutes. I hope that made sense. Peace and grace to y'all. Any fish? Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord. And in the power of his might, put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 